Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Christine Kugler and I'm a professional dancer and I just finished my first contract with Royal Caribbean. I am finally back home from that contract, which was literally the best experience of my life. You can check out so many videos that I've posted to my channel from that experience. And I also just finished my last week on board series where I filmed my day every single day of my last week on board. Just making that series felt more difficult to create than any project I had in college. So it makes me so thankful when you guys loved it and I've heard such great feedback from that. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel as always. I say welcome back because I have not picked up this camera in a month. So here we are a month after being at home and I am going to catch you guys up on everything you want to know. I get questions literally every single day. I get DMs and comments on my Instagram. Many people have the same or very similar questions. So I'm gonna go through the very frequently asked ones and also some other very creative things that I've probably never talked about or just anything you guys are wondering. I put up a post on my community tab on YouTube. I also put it up on my Instagram stories. Make sure you're following my social media so you stay tuned the next time I do something like this and you can participate and ask me questions. All right, we have a lot to get to today, so let's get into the video. I'm gonna answer some questions about ship life and I'm also gonna answer some questions about my personal life. So you're just gonna get to know me and get to know what ship life is like. So the first question is is what was the easiest and hardest thing to adjust to in ship life? I'm gonna start off with the hardest first. On ship life, I think the hardest thing for me to adjust to was just like access to everything. We live in such an on-demand world and I feel like we are so used to getting whatever we want when we want it. We order Amazon Prime, we can just drive over to the store if we need something. So being on a ship, you don't really have access to things at all times. And so I guess figuring that out and timing things out, simple things like if my shampoo runs out, where's the next port where I can buy the one I need and where can I get it and do I have the time to go get it? If I'm ordering stuff to the ship, I may not get it for weeks. Things just aren't as on demand as it can be when you're on land. Wi-Fi also is a thing. You have to time out when you have service versus when you don't have service. On the other side of that, I think the easiest thing to adjust to was just being in a space where we were all on the same schedule and on the same page, especially in a cast setting where everyone joins at the same time. We all are performing in the same shows so we work at the same times every day we eat at the same time every day and so just like having a schedule that there's also 24 other people that are on the exact same schedule this giant team of people who are exactly quote-unquote in the same boat as you I think that helped a lot of things and especially establishing routines and things like that okay I've gotten a lot of questions similar to this but how can we order packages on board so how we get packages on board is whatever your home port is at the time so let's just say at the beginning of my contract our home port was Fort Lauderdale so we had a Fort Lauderdale address that we would ship whatever we needed to. We'd have to order through an external crew service, but we could still order Amazon packages, you know, whatever you need, you can order it through this crew mail service. It would get ordered to the Fort Lauderdale address and then every turnaround day when we were in that home port, that crew mail service would bring it onto the ship and we would pick it up later that day. It would arrive once a week. I can't lie, I don't think it was super, super reliable. I know many people who got many packages and we've also had packages be lost. You have to pay extra for shipping. I didn't really order anything, but you totally can if you want to, that is available for you. All right, the next question is, I see you go to conditioning classes a lot. Is that something that's required for all dancers or are you all required to just record a certain amount of exercise each week or something like that? Not every Royal Caribbean ship has flying and aerial in it. So for Odyssey, we do have shows that have aerial in it. If you don't know what aerial is, it's when we use apparatuses to get ourselves up in the air, do some cool skills, things like that. But it takes a lot of strength in developing certain muscles to be able to do that. Therefore, there are people in the shows who do have to do aerial instead of just throwing them on the apparatus every week for a show. We have aerial conditioning, which is how the aerialists can maintain strength and just practice while we're in the middle of performing shows. With that being said, I am not an aerialist, but I wanted to participate in the aerial classes. So we do have that option if we wanna join. At the beginning of the contract, you decide and you're approved by your aerial captain. And that is just the group of people that stick with aerial conditioning and 
commit to that for the rest of the contract. So yeah, I was very happy to have that and keep my body moving, keep myself exercising. I really didn't have much aerial experience at all before this contract, so I've learned so much through that and I'm very thankful that we had that opportunity to take aerial classes on board. For exercise, it is in our contract that we need to exercise five hours a week. So that's going to the gym, going for a walk, doing aerial conditioning, things like that. It's not really that hard because we tend to exercise a good bit if we're dancers. Also, as dancers, we have privileges to use the guest gym. There's a crew gym as well. And the guest gym on board is so beautiful. And that helped a lot with working out, as you can tell. That's what exercising is like on the ship. Oh, this one's a good one, actually. What do you do when you leave and you might have extra items? Do you send them home, give them to a friend? Is there an area where you can donate and leave items? Thanks for your videos. For the cast, we make a cast box. That whole last week we were on board, of course, we're slowly packing and getting rid of things. So we would just all put it in this giant box backstage. People who are staying on board or especially the next cast would go raid the box and find clothes, shoes, literally anything we were giving away that we feel like people might want, we can throw in that box. When we were doing handover with cast two, I shopped a lot in the cast two box and I still have clothes that I got from people in cast two. So we definitely share a whole lot of stuff. Also throughout the contract, if we ever want to get rid of stuff, we just bring it to the dressing room and trade with our friends. And usually if we don't need it, someone else might need it. Do you get paid a fixed amount each month or is it based on actual performance hours? With our contract, we get offered a salary pay. And so it is the same like any job you would have on land, you get paid that salary for the amount of time that you are doing said job. We get paid bi-weekly. It goes to our salary at sea is the program we use there and I just transfer it over to my bank. It's nothing very different than if you just had a job on land, to be honest. Are you allowed to go anywhere on the ship, including bars and etc.? So this depends per department and depends on what stripes you have. If I'm not wrong, I think dancers are two and a half stripes. Don't quote me on that, but I think I'm two and a half stripes. Oh, this is something I haven't really talked about, but there is a giant matrix. And so basically it had a list of absolutely every place on board. And then it had whether that stripe could be there or not be there. For us dancers, a majority of the places we were able to go to, I know that's not the case for every single department, but we are lucky in the sense that we are allowed to go to many guest areas and enjoy as long as we are in our smart casual attire or whatever the attire we need to be wearing at that time. So yeah, we are allowed to use a lot of guest area, which is nice. Of course, as long as we're not interfering with guests and their whole experience, then we're also allowed to enjoy those things. Who decides on roommates and who to share your cabin with? So there are two different answers for this. If you are probably any crew that come on that are not with the cast, then it's usually random bunks. They do a pretty good job at mixing people with the same department and things like that, but it is very common that there are just random roommates or even with us dancers, if we had a roommate down, then a person from any random department could also join in and room with them. For us though, because we had the rehearsal experience in Miami and we all got to know each other on a very personal level and we all got very very close within the first two months before we even got on the ship we were able to request our roommates and so me and Caitlin requested each other so then they valued that and we were able to room together on the ship it is different if you are in a couple then you can request a couple's cabin once you're on board that is an experience that I can't really speak on because obviously I didn't have to do that but that is an option if you are a couple and want to live together on the ship. Do you keep in touch with your ship cast? Um, yeah, absolutely. They're literally my best friends. I FaceTime Shay most days a week. I would say I'm updated on most people's lives. I actually am thinking about there's some people I want to reach out to. There are so many of us that I feel like I've talked to most people in the cast since we've left. And even if it's just a little check-in, people have reached out to me. So it really is a hard transition to be so used to only being around these people and then not speaking to any of them for a while. It's so sad. I actually have plans to see a good bit of people from my cast in the next couple months so that's really exciting next question is how many shows do you do each week this varies per ship per show per cast there's many varying factors in that but for us personally in the theater cast on odyssey we would do six to eight day cruises and we have two production shows so within that week we perform those two production shows one night each week there was a showgirl night and then there was an effectors night and that night we did two shows so i guess the answer is four shows a week does your family or friends get discounts to come on board to visit you yes and no 
With the amount of stripes that we have as performers, we are able to sign someone on the ship. If there is extra capacity on the ship the day that a voyage is sailing, they could be added to the guest list for a very discounted price on that cruise. But the only problem with that is it is never guaranteed and you do run the risk of them showing up to the port and them not having a room. But it is a blessing that we are even able to have that opportunity to bring people on board. I also have been asked about like family friend discount. There is a chance that you can do that. I never heard of anyone who has done it and I don't have any information on how to do it. But maybe there is. I don't know. I will say a lot of people ask me questions as if I own the ships and work in casting and can get you a job and I am just here to say I cannot I cannot get you a job on the ship please don't send me your resume I just work there and I love working there and I just want to tell you guys about my experience working there I never built a Royal Caribbean ship couldn't tell you how many windows there are on board things like that I have no idea I'm just trying to do my best what's life after ship life feel like um that's a really good question actually I'm gonna be transparent with you guys um my first week, week and a half being home, it was definitely a transition. It was very, very hard. For me personally, I am also someone who is just always on the go, make very impulsive and spontaneous decisions to travel the world very often. You guys will learn that about me when it comes to land life. But yeah, it was really hard to, first of all, not have my friends and that community that I've built on board, but also it was very overwhelming to kind of plant my feet on the ground for a second and not have any responsibilities, so to speak. So that was very difficult for me. That's just me on a personal level. Right now I'm in a spot where I'm just so happy to be here and we're gonna talk about the future in a minute. I don't think you guys will let me get away with posting this video and not talking about future contracts and stuff like that. So we'll get there. As of now, I'm very content. I'm very happy where I'm at. I've been able to reconnect with old friends and my family. This would make me cry right now, but YouTube has become a job, which I'm so blessed to say. I've been able to have so many opportunities come from that and many opportunities that I could not take part in if I was on a ship. That has been so exciting and I think it's so fun. I tell my friends, I'm like, sorry, I have to work right now and I'm like editing my little YouTube videos. That's really been such a blessing and I could not be more grateful. I can finally be that really annoying YouTuber and say I have stuff in the works. You guys just have to wait and see but I really do have really big opportunities that have come my way and I'm just so excited but yeah. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Actually, let's answer another question when it comes to this because a lot of people have asked me if my YouTube's gonna slow down, if I'm not gonna post anything about ship life. My YouTube channel's not going anywhere. If anything, it's growing. I just have so many plans and goals and I wanna bring my camera and you guys along for all of them. Okay, I actually got so many comments about Shay. She is amazing. She's literally one of my best friends. I love her to death. We are in contact every single day. I'm gonna put her Instagram right here so you guys can message her. Okay, this has turned into Shay's little YouTube channel right now. I'm gonna promote her because she just opened a new show in Vegas. She's living her Vegas showgirl life and I'm so beyond happy for her. I do not think she will make a YouTube channel anytime soon, but you guys should check out her Instagram. Follow her if you want to know more about her. Shay, I know you watch every single one of my videos, so I love you. Mwah. Ooh, dream ship to work on. That's a good question. Honestly, I, I think Oasis class is so, so cool. They are completely different to quantum class ship. Maybe as a guest. I think I would love to be a guest on an Oasis class ship. Also, not Royal Caribbean related, but I grew up loving Disney Cruise Line and would it be bad if I said, I think my dream ship to work on is like the Disney Wish or like the Disney Treasure, which is about to come out. I think my childhood dreams would literally come true if that happened. Also, the Disney Wonder is like so iconic to me. That's where I was when I realized I wanted to be a cruise ship dancer one day. Okay, but still love you, Royal. Oh my God. Gosh, someone asked me for book recommendations. I literally love reading, but I know I don't have a book reading channel, but follow me on Goodreads. It's linked down in the description if you want to check out my Goodreads. That's where I give like my reviews and everything on books, but I'll just tell you what I'm currently reading and then my absolute favorite book in the world. Um, I'm currently reading The Lost Ticket by Freya Sampson. I really, really like it. I'm almost done. I'm trying to finish it today and it reads more of like a literary fiction than a romance or anything like that. So I like that one. And then my all time favorite 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 book of all time is the magnolia park series i'm actually about to reread it i've annotated it so much that i want to tab it and yeah i just want to experience reading magnolia parks again oh thanks for asking about my books i, ah, I love reading 
Oh, Holly asked. Holly was one of our sports staff on the ship and she's so, so sweet. And she asked, what was my favorite showgirl outfit? All time, it's gonna be Beautiful Girls. Beautiful Girls is literally the most stunning costume. And you know, with quick changes and stuff like that, you start throwing costumes, throwing pieces. And Beautiful Girls, I literally was always like, I was always so careful with it because it's just like, Stunning. Because you visit so many places, how are you able to be grateful for where you're at all the time? I am huge on gratitude. That is literally a whole core value in my life. I'm so grateful to live every day that I do and some of my friends are the most amazing people in the world. I've been able to travel to such special places and I've been overstimulated a lot, but sometimes I just need the time to sit down and journal and be grateful for where I'm at and where I'm going. If you follow my Instagram, I'm sure you know that something else I love to do is to take photos. And with that being said, I want to share the sponsor of this portion of the video, which is Free Prints. Free Prints is a photo printing app and it is so convenient and you can literally just choose the photos off your phone that you want to print out. They ship it straight to your house. Now I am always printing photos. If you know in my cabin I put up so many different photos from all our memories on the ship. I usually try to find a drugstore but sometimes that takes a while. It's also quite expensive so that's why I love Free Prints because with my code which I will put up right here you are able to get 15 free prints, which is a deal that I'm getting just for you guys. Free Prints was kind enough to send me some of my very special moments from this contract. I have a bunch of photos from my sweet friends and some of our very special memories that we had on the ship. And the quality is so nice. You can choose if you want it glossy or matte. And for the price and the convenience, I think it's a great option if you want to ever print some photos. You can click the link in the description to learn more about free prints. You can also download the app and, and you can keep those memories forever in a photograph. I highly recommend checking out free prints and make sure you use my code so you get that very special discount. What did I miss most about being home? To be honest, my room. 100% my room. Just the space and a full closet and drawers having a full-size bed and choosing when I want to do things and where I want to go. So I can literally be like, I want to go to Starbucks and get in my car and drive to Starbucks if I want to. So I think that just like kind of the freedom to control your life a little bit more. But again, you can control me to go to Greece and Italy literally any day. Rhythm to keep in place to keep your faith strong. Love your content. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot of conversations like this since I've been home and I don't want to get too in depth because it is very personal to me. I think it helps if you do have a church community at home, just communicating to those people or like if you ever need prayers about things, reaching out to them. It is one of those things you kind of know about me as soon as you meet me or very soon after you meet me, that faith is very important to me. I will say I'm very, very blessed because everyone in my cast was so respectful about my faith. I have been in positions where it was very challenging to share my faith because people were very dismissive with me or my faith. So I really was blessed to say that my cast and no one on board really ever disrespected my faith. Three months before the end of our contract, my friend and Jewel came on board and we had some Jesus conversations which helped a lot to just have someone who was on the same page as me in those things. I'm a very non-judgmental person about things like that. I will never be the kind of person to shove it down people's throat. That's just not me. It is very controversial with a lot of people in my life but if people ever want to talk about it, they know that they can talk to me about it. That is what I believe and that is what's worked best for me. I am solid in my foundation. I am solid on my beliefs and my values. No one changes that about me. So I think we should just respect everyone. All right, it is time for the long awaited question. Can you guess? Can you guess what the question is? I am asked this question. I kid you not, at least a couple dozen times a day. So here we go, the answer to the long awaited question. What is your next contract? Oh. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have been avoiding answering this question. It's not a simple yes or no. So just, you gotta keep up with me and you gotta listen to the whole explanation. And then you guys can talk to me in the comments and everything. Thank you so much. So I wanna start off by saying, this is my personal choice. This is what I wanna do. With that being said, I am currently 23. I have gone to college. I've had so many different jobs. This is my dream job that I have. I know what work burnout feels like and being on a ship intensifies a lot of emotions. I loved every second of ship life and I absolutely want to do it again. Let me explain. Typically, if you are offered a contract for a ship, you are offered it, I would say on average, like two months before 
you start rehearsals. If we live in a perfect world, I would choose to have about a four to six month break. My mental health is very important to me. And so I know for myself, I think if I went straight into another contract, I wouldn't have that second to breathe and take a break, be content at home, have a time where I can place my feet on the ground and be still for a minute. I wanna be able to miss it so bad that I wanna come back and be even better than ever. I wanna be a better Christine when I step into that rehearsal facility. I really wanna give it my all when I do my next contract and that also means I wanna be very, very passionate about the shows and the ship that I am in. This isn't a perfect world and I may not be able to choose, but for the ships and shows that I am passionate about, they do not start until later in the year or next year, which means I would not know by the time I ended my Odyssey contract if I would be casted in those shows. I hope you guys are keeping up with me and understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> To be honest, right now I am in a transition of just kind of waiting for my next contract, but in the meantime, I'm working on many, many things. So it's not just like I'm sitting here waiting for a contract. That is just real life. That is how the professional dance industry works. You don't always know your next step when you step out of a contract, but I did choose to have it that way. I did not request any contracts that were soon after my end date on Odyssey. For that reason, I want to take this time to really prioritize my mental health and spend this time at home with friends and family and enjoy these times because once I do get a contract, that is where my brain goes. I'm fully committed to those contracts. I have so many friends that are either already on a contract, have their contract signed, things like that, and I'm so, so, so happy for them. I really did want to take this time to rest because I have so many exciting things that I have planned and that I want to do that I know I can't do when I'm on contract. Again, I want to give my next contract my all. I have requested the ships and the shows that I want. But yeah, this is just real life and I, I don't want to hide that, but I also didn't want to put on blasts that I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So I hope you guys can respect that. With that all being said, I do want another contract. Again, I could be offered a contract tomorrow or I could be offered a contract in six months or I could be offered a contract in a year. I was communicating back and forth to the office about a potential opportunity, but it just was not gonna work on my end. It didn't align, which is totally fine. I know that's God just redirecting me and saying there is something else that I'm meant to do. I have extremely exciting things that are happening in the meantime. I may or may not be flying to Europe in two days. Yeah, stay tuned for that. That is why I was a bit stressed when I got home because just having so much unknown in front of you is so scary, but that is literally what your 20s are. If you are 23 and you know exactly what the rest of your life is gonna look like, then cheers to you because that's not me or any of my friends at this age. That's where I'm at right now. I'm actually very, very content. So exciting because I have so much ahead of me and I'm just excited to share that with you guys whenever the time comes. Something I wanna share too is I have a lot of passions in my life. So my passions are traveling, dance, my faith. Those are things that do not change about me. They're things that I'm constantly doing and improving on. But in reality, I will not always be on a cruise ship. If you would like to stay tuned, then I would say stick around because life is pretty cool. The last thing I want to say is what is coming up next if I don't have my next contract signed. So in the meantime, I have a very very exciting trip planned as i said i'm going to europe in two days a lot is gonna happen there i'm going with my absolute best friend in the world we're literally about to have the best time i'm also gonna reunite with some ship friends the next upcoming videos are very exciting this is just a video to say thank you answering all your questions i know there's a ton i didn't get to so maybe i'll just do another one of these again sometime soon if you stay tuned this long i know that you did not just watch this video to learn about my next contract so i think you should comment the beach emoji because that's how I know that you're a real one and you stayed till this point. You guys know what to do. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post. Follow my Instagram so you see where I am in the world. I'm still going to be traveling around, so don't even worry about that. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having the very best day. See you soon.